Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in analog electronics series. In the previous tutorial, we talked about differential amplifier, its introduction, its schematic diagram. Uh, we also did the DC analysis of differential amplifier. In this tutorial, we'll do AC analysis of differential amplifier. If this is something that interests you, then please keep watching. All right, we already know the basic equivalent diagram of differential amplifier which is made up of two uh, BJTs. We have two inputs V in one and V in two and for a balanced output we take output from here from the collector of both the transistors and the difference between V1 and V2 is very important because uh, the output voltage V0 is going to be A times V1 minus V2. Okay, now that has already been discussed. In this tutorial, we'll talk about the AC analysis and some key points are mentioned here. If you wish to do the AC analysis, the first key point is that you transform the BJT using T model. So we have these two BJTs and we are going to replace these BJTs by their equivalent T models. The T model says that you have this base terminal with IB current coming, this collector terminal with IC te current coming, with the current source IC and at the emitter terminal you put up a RE resistance. So this, this part of the circuit diagram is going to be replaced by this equivalent circuit with one current source and one resistance here and the second key point is that we are going to ground all the DC voltages so ground all the DC voltages so this will be grounded and this will be grounded so when these two voltages are grounded then what happens we need to draw the equivalent circuit now now please understand that we start from the ground of let us say this is ground so we start from the collector terminal technically so this is ground so we have started from this and fr from collector so this is the part which I'm talking about from collector we see the IC current flowing through this resistor RC and it is being replaced by this transistor is being replaced by this IC current like it is uh, done here in the T model. So that's the first point this this part of the circuit is taken care of. In the second part what I do is I take up the base because base is also starting from ground so from ground we see V in 1 and then R in 1 so we get to the base point over here so these two arms are taken care of now and then from from this arm I put up the RE resistor the small RE resistor and I reach here and this these two points are the same and from this RE resistor I finally connect the capital RE resistor which is also eventually grounded because this these are grounded DC sources and likewise I have made the same circuit on the other side of the transistor Q2 now when we perform the AC analysis our objective is to find the voltage gain and the voltage gain is given by V0 upon V in so when the objective is clear the things becomes a lot easier so V naught upon V in V naught upon V in can be written as VC1 one minus VC2 upon V in 1 minus V in 2 and VC1 can be written as IC1 RC minus IC2 RC so this is the voltage that I'm talking about this minus this right 
so if we are able to find ic1 and ic2 then everything becomes very very easy because th these are the input voltages known to us rc is known to us so if we can find ic1 and ic2 then everything becomes easy so in, so in other words our objective is to find ic1 and ic2 for that we'll use some approximations and the assumptions are ic is equivalent to almost ie ic can be written as beta times ib so ib can be written as ie upon ib so whenever we find ie we'll say that we have found ic also so technically the objective boils down to finding ie1 and ie2 all right so with this diagram in hand i consider two loops this is loop 1 and this is loop 2 and in the first loop if i write down the equation this goes from negative to positive and rest everything goes from positive to negative so v in 1 will be equivalent to the current flowing into this resistor and in, into this resistor and so on with these two also but here the current is IC1 plus IC2 I'm sorry IE1 plus IE2 so using KVL V in 1 becomes R in 1 IB1 that's the drop here then RE1 IE1 that's the drop here and capital RE into IE1 plus IE2 because two currents are coming here so third drop here and on the other hand in the loop 2 V in 2 will be equivalent to R in 2 into IB2 then the drop here RE2 IE2 and the drop here which is same as the one written in the above equation so we have V in 1 and V in 2 with us substituting the assumptions uh, what I do is I substitute IB1 as IE1 upon beta so I get these two equations so this becomes my new number one and this becomes my new number two and separating IE1 and IE2's coefficients in these equations what I get is this v in 1 becomes ie1 into r in 1 upon beta plus r e1 plus r e plus ie2 into r e and ie1 has r e coefficient in the second equation and ie2 has r in 2 upon beta plus r e2 plus r e in the coefficient for second equation and finding ie1 and ie2 from these two equations can be done using Cramer's rule so using Cramer's rule what I suggest you is to find ie1 and ie2 which is the determinant if you wish to find ie1 then replace these coefficients with v in 1 and v in 2 and if you wish to find ie2 then replace the second column with v in 1 and v in 2 and the denominator has the determinant which has all the four coefficients please understand this is not a divide sign this is this should not have been here in the first place Okay, so finally we have found our IE1 and IE2 
and the last assumption could be to use R E one to be equivalent to R E two because of the matched uh, transistors, the voltage gain becomes R C into I E one minus I E two upon V in one minus V in two, which was discussed in the first step, and that's how you find the voltage gain using AC analysis of the differential amplifier. And I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Share this video amongst your friend. And if you have any doubts, ask them in the comment section. I'll see you around in the next video to come. Till then, take good care of your health and stay happy. Bye bye.